are called oneness and progress. Oneness and progress are called. Oneness and progress are called. Uh, my colleagues, the National Working Committee members of my party, our great party, Accord, our presidential hopeful, and his entourage, members of the press, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you all for being here. And uh, like the National Secretary has spoken earlier, we are here to witness the collection of nomination forms uh, by our presidential hopeful, who is a youth, and who will believe if we rally around him, if we give him the correct support, he's going to be the next president of Nigeria. Uh, before I hand over the, the form to him, I would like to make one small remark. If you look at the history of Nigeria, the independence of Nigeria was fought by the youths. Go back to history. You will see that it is the youths of those days that fought for the independence of Nigeria. And the first set of leadership we had in this country after independence from the president to the prime minister to the premier of the regions, I am sure none of them was outside the age of 40 years. Mm -hmm. So they were all youth. Uh, if you look at the, when the military came in to take over from, I mean, I mean power from the civilians, the military that took over were also youth. The then, and the first military head of state Nigeria, Osaka, Yakub Gawan, General Yakub Gawan, was not yet married when he became the head of, I mean, the, 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 the leader of Nigeria. He was in the office of head of state when he got married to his beloved wife, Victoria Gowon. So you can see, Gowon was around 29 years old when he became president of Nigeria. Mutala Bahamiru, how old was he? How old was, 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 uh, was uh, Buhari Babangida? Most of the project, how old, how old was Obasanju? Most of the development we see in Abuja today were done under the leadership of General Babangida. And he was a youth. So any mention, any, 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 any institution you are going to mention, socially, economically, politically, we are all developed by the youth, Nigerian youth. Why are Nigerian youth of today waiting asking for power to be given to them. The youth of those days took power. They didn't wait for power to come to them. They sought for power and they took power. And they made very good use of power. Most of the institutions we have today were built by the youth of those days. So I am feeling pains inside me whenever I hear a youth saying that they should be given this, they should be given that. Why are you waiting for anybody to give you your own property? Go to our polling units on election days. Who are the people that are joining queues, staying from morning to night, waiting to cast their votes, to choose leaders for themselves? Who are they? They are Nigerian youth. So if you have this, why are you waiting for somebody to come and give you what you already have? That is why you can see on our logo, thumb up. This is what you use to decide your future. Use your tongue rightly and decide your future. Vote for people that you know can represent your interests. Use this tongue. That is the sign of accord. Always use your tongue to decide for your future. If you elect for people that you know cannot represent you well, it is your tongue that mislead you. But don't be 
accusing anybody for not giving you power again. Nigerian youth, we are not saying that you should be violent. You can take power through democratic means by going to the polling station to cast your vote and vote for Nigerian youth to lead you. I am sure I will at today testify to you that I am a beneficiary of such gestures. I came to House of Representatives at the age of 29. I was in House of Reps at the age of 29. And when I was a member of House of Reps, I didn't have a car. For the first one year, I didn't have a car. I was using taxi, mobile, uh, tra transport, public transport, to go to National Assembly to go back to my place. And I was going to ballot because I felt I was serving my nation. Mm -hmm. So why are we always asking for things that belong to us? Work hard and take governance by using your thumb on the election day. That is why when this gentleman approached us in this party with intention to run for president, we graciously honored him and we were all happy and we served him very well. And I'm assuring you, Prof, we are going to do everything possible to make sure that our party produces a youth that will lead this country. <laughs> so with that zeal and confidence, I'm hereby handing over the nomination uh, special of interest form to you. So I'm going to hand it over to you. In the name of God. In the name of God. Tony. Tony. God. Yes. Secretary John. Secretary. 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 Secretary
to begin to look beyond just having those whose face are out there to begin to run these affairs of this country and begin to do and do the economy. What we what we want to present to Nigeria is sincerity of purpose. Yes. What we want to present, we present to Nigeria is straightforward leadership. We want to ensure that when we are given the opportunity, you know, my chairman just spoke, he said, we should not wait for that opportunity. We should get leadership. That's what we are doing. To make sure that Nigeria economy is critically looked into. I want Nigeria to go and check my CV and Professor Christopher Mumole, match my CV with every contestant and candidate that is contesting. I can bet you, you cannot see any candidate that has such credentials as me. By the grace of God, God has blessed us and we want to ensure that the country becomes blessed. We are tired of retrogressive leadership. Now we need to start looking at forward thinking leadership. That is what we are going to present. The security of the country, we have to look at it. We have to look at the education. We have to look at we have to look at ensuring that the economy is digitalized. We have to look at welfare to the people. We have to look at food and security agriculture. There's so many things. A lot of people have been asking us what is our agenda point. We said we have over 200 agenda points because Nigeria has so many problems. And we need to start fixing them. You know, so we are we are here to pick up our form and we believe by the grace of God, come 2023, with the help of Nigerians who are tired of what is ongoing, with the help of every society and even the journalist that is right here, we will emerge the president of this country. And we are going to emerge that because, let me say this, God has answered the prayer of Nigeria. Yes. There are so many children out there who are crying on a daily basis. Yes. And the truth is this, God has presented to us a candidate that will transform this nation to that point we hope to have it. Again, thank you for having me here. I'm a man of um, very few words and more action. Yes. And um, I want to thank you guys for coming. And I believe as we, as we sojourn on this journey, we begin to see a better explanation of what we are here to do.